Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Mohit, the founder and CEO of Cohesity. Mohit, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you start by sharing when and why you started Cohesity? First of all, thanks a lot for having me here. Um, so, you know, let me take you down memory lane. I started actually this company called Nutanix in, uh, in 2009, before I started Cohesity. And Nutanix um, addressed um, what we call primary data. So they um, hosted primary data. But then I realized there's a much bigger problem that's lurking underneath the covers. I mean, if you just think about data um, mapped to an iceberg, only the, the primary data is like the part of the data above the surface of water, the part of the iceberg above the surface of water. But all the rest of it, we call it secondary data, also needs to be addressed. And that was the big problem that Cohesity addressed. So I started Cohesity in 2013 to explicitly address the problem of managing all that data that sits beneath the surface of water. We call it secondary data. There's silos all over the place. It's very hard to manage. And so Cohesity is a company that's simplifying data management for our customers. Well, it's so crazy to me that there are so many companies out there who don't know how to leverage and protect their data. And Cohesity does an amazing job at helping with this. So how has Cohesity worked with AWS and how has this relationship with AWS actually evolved over time? Uh, you know, we have been a partner, uh, partnered with AWS, I think since 2017. Uh, we used to help our customers migrate their data to the cloud. We would archive them, the data for the long term. But then uh, we did a, a much deeper partnership with AWS, you know, just last year in 2020, uh, when we uh, rolled out our SaaS service, we call it uh, DMAS or Data Management as a Service. And that was hosted on AWS. And that was announced in October of 2020. And so that's when the partnership, uh, a much more deeper partnership was announced um, with our SaaS, SaaS service running on AWS. So we've been partnered for a long time, but now it's a much deeper partnership. Well, it's been so great watching the relationship evolve and grow stronger over time. So Mihit, what are some of the customer benefits of data management as a service? And what is the traction like in the market? Yeah, first of all, DMAS, data management as a service, is an umbrella term. Uh, it's not one feature. Uh, it's, a, it's a set of uh, features, if you may. So the very first one is uh, what we call backup as a service. So this is our backup software running as a SaaS service uh, in the cloud in AWS. And it can be used by customers to protect uh, their environment. They can protect their on-premise environments. They can protect their SaaS environments. So they can protect stuff like Office 365. They can protect maybe VMs running uh, you know, in the cloud. But like I said earlier, DMAS is an umbrella term. And uh, while backup as a service or BAS has been already released, uh, including in Australia, uh, we are now very soon coming up with um, other features that we're going to release in the, that, under that DMAS umbrella. So the very next one that's soon coming out is uh, disaster recovery as a service. Um, so this is how uh, you know, we benefit these customers. They can just go sign on, use our SaaS service, and, and they're up and running in no time. It's incredible. And Mahit customers are increasingly turning to Cohesity to help them improve their security postures. So can you tell us a little more about this? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, we all know that ransomware is a boardroom discussion these days, right? Um, I think uh, I heard stats that uh, companies are getting hit with ransomware every, like, uh, every 18 seconds or so. Um, so you know, the goal behind Cohesity is not to be just doing one thing. It's not a one-track pony. Um, we are truly a platform that does way more than just backups. So once we've backed up the data, we'll actually also offer other features. And one of them is ransomware protection. And so imagine that uh, a customer gets hit with, uh, with ransomware. Um, what, they'll, uh, what they have to do is backups is their last uh, uh, line of defense. 
they can come to cohesity and then we will actually using our machine learning algorithms even figure out which of their backups are infected with ransomware, which of them are actually okay. And so we'll tell them, we'll produce a report and they can start recoveries from cohesity and um, restore their environment. And we have uh, tons of customers. One of the publicly referenceable one is a medical facility called Skylakes in the US and they got hit with the ransomware. Some 600 plus servers got infected, infected with ransomware and um, they tell us that, uh, you know, without cohesity, uh, they would not even exist today. Um, and they tell us that we literally saved uh, people's lives by, by protecting them from, from ransomware. Because what good is a medical facility if uh, all the data from patients goes away? Um, so that's just one example of how we secure a customer's environment, protect them from ransomware, um, and, and, and so on and so forth. Thanks for sharing. That's a really great example. And I've also heard Cohesity refer to itself as offering next-gen data management. So what is next-gen data management and why is it so unique in the market? The typical vendors out there do is the traditional data management and they typically tend to be one-trick ponies. Um, maybe they'll only do backups and a little more. Uh, we defined next-gen data management as uh, consisting of uh, four different pillars. The first one is simplicity at scale. What that means is that our customers get a single UI to manage um, you know, their whole multi-cloud environment. So whether they have um, presence uh, you know, you know, on their on-premises environment or they have presence in the cloud, it can all be managed uh, in a, with a single UI. And this logical platform, if you may, that spans their multi-cloud environment can literally grow in a in a hyperscaler like fashion, um, right? You just keep on, keep on adding nodes and it keeps on growing, whether it's virtual nodes in the cloud or physical nodes on premises, it just keeps on growing. The second pillar it concerns security, of course, we call it uh, zero trust security. So our customers really don't have to trust um, cohesity. You know, we are constantly validating our credentials. Uh, so uh, in case of any attack, uh, our customers are protected. So it's zero trust security. The third pillar is AI. Um, it's AI powered, which means that we are making smart decisions for our customers behind the scenes. One example is, I already gave that example where we, we can figure out automatically if any of their stuff is infected with ransomware and inform the customer automatically. Um, other examples are we will figure out if uh, something uh, is broken in the system, automatically heal it. And there are all these AI algorithms uh, running behind the scenes, making it possible. And, and the fourth pillar, pillar uh, in next-gen data management is, is third-party extensibility, which means that um, this is not just a platform that consists of uh, cohesity software, but we should also be able to extend it with third-party software. You know, I think one analogy that brings it all out is, uh, you know, an analogy to a smartphone, right? A smartphone starts off by being a great phone, but beyond that, it's, it's, it's also a GPS device. It's also a music player and a camera and, and so on and so forth. But it also has a marketplace from where you can download third-party apps and extend the power of that smartphone platform. So Cohesity is a next-gen data management platform. It might start by being great at uh, doing backups for you, but that it can go above and beyond offering ransomware protection and so much more. It can offer file and object services. It can op offer analytics. It can offer test and uh, development, uh, but it also has a marketplace from where you can download apps and extend the power of the Cohesity platform. So third-party extensibility, we believe is, is one of the pillars of uh, next-gen data management. Mohit, thank you so much for coming on the show today. You should be so proud of the business that you build and it's such a fundamental partnership that we've really enjoyed Watch Grow. So thank you so much. And if anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ali.